Hiya, you all right? What are you all up to today? It's a very windy Saturday today. I'm going to make some tandoori lamb burgers. Just fancied it, bought some mince. Just from Tesco, I've just nipped there. I thought it was dear though, 4 95 For how many grams? 500 grams? Is that dear, do you think? Anyway, we're having tandoori lamb burgers. So I'm a bit of a purist when it comes to burgers. I like them to be 100% meat, 100% beef, 100% lamb. I don't think you need anything else. So take the lid off. Just got some tandoori powder. This is mild tandoori powder. You can get mild, medium, hot. Go to the spice level you like. To start with, I'm just gonna put two teaspoons into this take my rings off I've washed my hands get your hands in give it a good squelch together I'm just gonna put another teaspoon in don't worry I'll wipe this now you've really got to squish it together someone said to us Nicola why do my burgers fall apart because you've not done this enough really squish it together and they will stay together. Now I've split them into three balls. I only need three burgers out of this because Olivia doesn't eat meat. Make them into firm balls and literally pat it down until you've got a nice patty. Do the same with the other two. Now they can go in the fridge until I need them later. If you need four, make four, they'll just be smaller. I'm going to do a little tomato and red onion mint salsa to go with it as well. Chop some red onion and tomato into small pieces and into a dish. I'm going to take some mint leaves, chop them up, pop those in as well, sprinkle of salt and a splash of olive oil. Mix it together. Put it into a nice bowl. So we've had a new addition to our family this week. He's only been here a week. I'll introduce him. Buddy! He's a good friend of Duchess. Buddy! Come here. Come on. This is Buddy. Buddy. Hello, Buddy. Isn't he lovely? And he likes the smell of my burgers. <laughs> to go with these burgers, we're going to have some wedges. We're just going to sprinkle over some garam masala. We'll just give them a nice bit of warm spice. They won't be hot. A drizzle of olive oil, just enough to coat. And some salt. Get your hands in. Mix them all together. I've got my lipstick on. Up into the pub. I've had two wines. And I've just opened some more. Get those all nicely coated. Now just a tip to stop them sticking, put them on their jacket side. So stand them all up like that on the jacket side, see? And they won't stick. To the oven. So the wedges are cooking. I've took the burgers out of the fridge so they're not too cold poured myself another glass of wine and I've got this one's called Three Gables haven't tried it yet I'm with the I'm in Virgin Wine Club so this is from the latest box that I've got so it's a Chenin Blanc Chenin Blanc Three Gables it's called let's have a taste oh it's nice I like that one not harsh at all nice now instead of mayonnaise and our burgers we're going to have minted yogurt literally just greek yogurt and mint sauce mint sauce not mint jelly so we've got four tablespoons of greek yogurt and one tablespoon of mint sauce just mix it together mix it together put it to the side so the wedges have been in the oven about 20 minutes put your burgers in the pan you don't need any oil and just a medium heat you want them cooked all the way through. These are quite thick. I'm only doing two because Amelia's not home yet. She's gone to a friend's. So cook them nice and slowly because you don't want them raw in the middle. Just 
turn them over when you think it's time. I've had about five minutes. About five minutes on this side. I wish you could smell my kitchen now, it's amazing. So these are ready. I want some cheese on the top. If you have got a lid for your pan, put the lid on. I'm going to pop my pan onto the grill. So I've took the wedges out and look, they don't stick. I've popped them in a nice dish and I'm going to sprinkle over about half a block of feta cheese. Cheese is all melted. So I've got two brioche buns, they've just been warmed in the oven. Take your yoghurt and your mint dressing and just put a blob on. This is instead of mayonnaise. Lettuce, if you like. Your tomato and onion salsa on the top. Maybe some more yoghurt. I can't wait to eat these. Well, one of them. Right now, see this flavoured oil in the pan? We're not going to waste that. So this is flavour. Drizzle a couple of tablespoons of it over your wedges. A few little bits of mint, if you like. There we go, how good does that look? Tandoori lamb burgers with masala wedges some mint yoghurt and a tomato salsa. This is exciting. I don't know if I'll get my mouth around it. Let's try. That's proper. Oh, that is that proper. so juicy that is absolutely delicious wedges are tasty that burger really tasty the mint and the yogurt goes perfectly with the wedge and the burger the feta cheese acts like a seasoning because it's salty it's beautiful i can't wait to finish this Whatever you're having for your tea, I hope it's as good as mine. Give this a go. This this lamb burger is two ingredients: lamb mince and tandoori spice. Literally it. Some potatoes and some garam masala. Give it a go. Down. Get down. Down. I'm gonna go and enjoy this now. So, thank you so much for watching till now and listening to me waffle on. I'm going to go and finish my wine. Enjoy this lovely food. You have a brilliant night, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.